<laughs> smooth. But uh, I don't know if you guys can see out there, we got snow, it's spring, and it looks like we just had about six, seven inches of snow fall overnight. Good way to kick off the spring. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna do something fishing related, hopefully get you in the spirit of spring and uh, ready for surf casting. Jeez, this is crazy. Yesterday it was like 50, 60 degrees and uh, winter punched back by throwing some snow at us. Okay, like I may have mentioned, uh, this video is definitely gonna be like a slightly different video, uh, hopefully kind of interesting, but uh, we're going to the post office first. We're gonna mail out some Fishaholic uh, twisty tubes for kayak trolling and as well as some decals. So uh, thanks to all you guys that picked some up and uh, you know, the link is in the description if you wanna check them out. You know, it really helps support this channel and continue to grow, continue to make videos. But uh, anyway, the main purpose of this video is to show you guys some of these plugs here, you know, the goodies. And uh, this box of full of plugs was sent to me from friend Bruce who custom made some striped bass surf casting plugs back in like December and he sent them to me. And I haven't used them, haven't put them to the test because it's been winter and uh, surf casting season or the striper season is right around the corner. So I figured, you know what, we're going to bust these plugs out, we're going to go to Lake Apacong State Park, which is up the road, and we're going to put them to the test, show you guys the action of the baits, the plugs, and, um, you know, Bruce mentioned something about doing like a giveaway. So uh, I noticed that I'm approaching the 25,000 subscriber mark, so from this point where I upload the video till I hit 25,000 subscribers, you guys can enter to win one of these plugs, three of you guys. So all you have to do to enter is post a comment which is your favorite plug or which plug you would use most this in this upcoming season. You have to like the video and subscribe or be a subscriber and uh, boom, that's it. You're entered to win one of these plugs and hopefully by the time I hit 25,000 subscribers, I'll have a lot of entries and three anglers will be chosen by random, you know, and you can win a free plug that'll hopefully um, you know, be sent out to you, you know, and you can use this spring and hopefully catch some fish. So that's today's plan. All right, so we made it, and we're gonna be that goof with a nine-foot mojo surf rod and a VS-250 on Lee Kapakong. All right, stall and mojo is all rigged up. Now it's time to bust open the good stuff. So this is gonna be your first look, but I've already taken a look at most of these plugs, and we have 12 different custom plugs here. And Bruce's company is Handy's Custom Plugs. <laughs> Handy's are made by hand, they're, they're handmade plugs, so that's why I'm assuming he called it Handy's. But uh, anyway, how this is gonna work, I guess today is we're gonna test them on in two ways, based on casting distance, which today is like a beautiful day, there's very little wind, so we're definitely gonna be able to see the true casting distance of some of these plugs. And then we're also gonna test them based on action. And uh, since there's 12 and I'm giving away three, what I'm gonna do is say if I label this plug as plug number one, then we're gonna do plug number two, plug number three, plug number four, number five, and so on and so forth. And then what you're gonna comment is, oh, I would like plug number one or plug number two or plug number three. So that when I pick by random, you know, whichever comment has that number of the plug, then I know which plug I'm gonna be sending to you. So uh, that's basically how it's gonna work. And we're just gonna, I guess, start off with pencil poppers because we have, it looks like six different pencil poppers here and we've got a couple different swimmers, and then we also got a few different poppers. So uh, we'll start off with the pencil poppers and just uh, you know, move up from there to the poppers and then to the swimmers last. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is plug number one, a two and a half ounce Wonder Bread colored pencil popper. We're gonna put it to the test, casting, and then action. Oh, look at that baby fly. Wind, of course, today is not really going to play any factor, but definitely uh, being able to see what kind of distance you can get on this plug without any wind is a good, is a good thing to see. This plug really has some awesome side-to-side -side erratic action. Definitely going to be perfect for drawing up some strikes from bluefish or stripers, even if the fish are finicky or aggressive. And uh, yeah, this is plug number one. Post it in the comment if you would like to win plug number one. And uh, yeah, only comment once though. Don't, don't comment twice or you will be disqualified because that is cheating. But uh, yeah, let's move on to plug number two. All right, plug number two, yellow, two ounce pencil popper. Let's put it to the test. 
Whoa, this bait freaking flies, man. No joke, this bait just flew way further than plug number one. All right, so let's take a look at the action. Looks pretty good. It rides a little bit lower in the water. I'm assuming because it's a shorter bait and probably weighted a little bit heavier, so that's why it flies out there pretty far, but still has some awesome erratic action. Plug number two, definitely a plug that's gonna imitate, say, you know, baby, small bunker, juvenile, snappers. You know, small profile bait for sure is gonna be a true killer for striped bass and bluefish coming up this spring. You know, the bait is always gonna be smaller in the spring and then as the season progresses and up into the fall the bait gets bigger so that's why i like to throw you know smaller size pencil poppers in the spring and then as the season progresses i get bigger and bigger with my plugs all right plug number three which this is pretty much the same profile it looked like as plug number two but just a different pattern this is kind of more of like a mackerel-ish you know pattern though it is yellow most mackerel colored plugs are are green but i got a question though do you think a striped bass is gonna look at the color between yellow and green. In some situations, probably, but in some situations when they're in a feeding frenzy on mackerel, or if you know they're just aggressively feeding during the right time of tide on mackerel, they probably won't look so much at the color. They're just gonna maybe look more just at the pattern. But uh, yeah, plug number three, it's probably gonna have the same action, but let's just cast it again because this baby flies. <laughs> Oh boy, that is sweet. It would be freaking insane if a muskie hits this. That would be like the only thing I could see crushing a topwater plug this time of year on this lake. A hybrid striper would probably hit this if he was big enough. But uh, anyway, this is plug number three. So put number three down in the comments if uh, you're gonna be fishing the Cape Cod Canal and want a mackerel imitation pencil pelper. All right, so I didn't realize this, but I made a mistake is plug number one is the same as this plug here, which this was gonna be plug number four. So I'm just gonna disinclude this one because basically it's the uh, you know same thing as plug number one and it also has my name on it. So I'm gonna throw this one off to the side and uh, we'll move on to the real plug number four. All right, so here is real plug number four and this is a one and a half ounce squid pencil popper. Really cool bait with the eye in the back of the body. Let's get the cast test going and then the action test. Oh, and that baby flies, man. All right, that is plug number four. Some exceptional action. And uh, definitely another good bait probably to throw in the early season because of the size of the profile. And uh, as well as there's usually a lot of squid in the spring when the water is slightly cooler and those squid are in shallow. So that would be a perfect presentation to throw. All right, plug number five right there. And it's basically the same thing as plug number four, but uh, this is 1.8 ounces, so slightly heavier, 1.8 ounce squid pencil popper. All right, plug number six, and we're on to the poppers. This is a 2.9 ounce canal mackerel is the name of it. And this is a perfect presentation and plug that it'll totally call up some big bass looking for a big mackerel to eat. So let's put her to the distance test. Imagine you're at the Cape Cod Canal and you wanna get that distance. Those fish are just breaking out there and you gotta hit those fish to get a bite. And that thing just flies and flies and goes halfway across the canal. You're into those feeding fish and then it's just like, boom, oh, you got him, he's on. And you're fighting the fish and your adrenaline's getting jacked up and you got a 30, 40 pounder on the line. That's hopefully what this plug will help you accomplish. Plug number six, got some good action, pushes a lot of water. Definitely will attract the attention of a hungry big old striper. Really some awesome action. I am impressed of how much water this lip pushes. And uh, this would definitely be a good bait to fish in the day or night. All right, plug number seven, very similar to plug number six or the canal mackerel, but this is just slightly smaller, 2.5 ounces, and it has more of a white, silvery, you know, purple, you know, translucent kind of color to it. And uh, this definitely would be a, a great bait to use if there's squid in the water, you know, large menhaden. At 2.5 ounces, it's probably gonna cast a little bit shorter than the 2.9 canal mackerel, but it still flies way out there. And uh, you know, if I was fishing the canal and there was a lot of big bait around, 
for sure I would definitely throw this. Uh, you know, I would definitely have this in my plug bag if I was fishing later in the season when there's a lot of big bait around. Early in the season, you know, unless I see big bait, then I would have this with me. But if I don't see any big bait, for the most part, I would probably keep this in the truck. But uh, definitely a great bait and it pushes a ton of water, has some great action. Pushes very similar amount of water with that lip, just like the canal mackerel. Great plug that you could have in your bag and comment plug number seven if you want plug number seven all right so plug number eight this is the one ounce peanut popper has one hook on the back end of it and uh, definitely a good small early season profiled plug so let's put her to the casting test and this would be a great imitation for you know small menhaden snappers small bait fish and man, that thing just flew out there and blew my mind how far I just casted this. Let's take a look at the action. The action is surprisingly a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. It's pushing a ton of water for a small little popper, probably because of the big lip on it. And it almost pushes more water than those bigger poppers that I threw. This little popper has got some potential for sure. All right guys, so plug number nine is another peanut popper, one ounce, same thing as the one I just tested. So uh, this is plug number nine, just comment number nine if you want this colored peanut popper. So we're not gonna test the action of the casting distance because I'm assuming this is gonna be very similar, if not the same to the one we just tested. All right, so here is plug number 10. We're moving on to the swimmers and this is a Surfster, white little Menhaden, imitation swimmer definitely a good plug to have in your bag in the early season and the late season i would have something in, in my bag like this year round especially uh, for those situations when there's men hating around peanut bunker snappers this is probably a great bait to fish in the day or at night and it probably still would perform well and catch fish so i'm going to take you under the water to show you the action of this bait it doesn't dive down too deep but it does have a nice side to side erratic wobble so this is plug number 10, comment number 10 if you want plug number 10. All right, so finally, last but not least, we have plug number 11, and this is a 1.8 ounce yellow Menhaden imitation swimmer. Another great looking plug. I love the lifelike eyes on it. And uh, again, this is definitely something I would carry in my bag year round that imitates you know, some type of profile like this big, especially a swimmer. And this is an, another great bait to use in you know, the night or in the day. And yeah, there's not really a difference in distance between the two swimmers, but you know, there might be a difference in depth or a difference in um, action. So again, we're gonna take it under the water and let's take a look at the action. Has a nice tight little wobble, nice little erratic swimming motion could definitely draw in some fish in clear or dirty water at night or in the day. And this is definitely something I would throw if there's a lot of peanut butter, peanut, peanut butter, peanut bunker in the water and uh, you know, maybe snappers, weak fish, this would be a great plug for uh, that type of uh, imitation. But anyways, plug number 11. So post a comment, plug number 11, and you will have a chance of winning plug number 11. All right, Fishaholic, so that's all she wrote. We're gonna head on home soon. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, getting to see some new handy custom plugs uh, work their magic in the water. And uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and of course, comment your number plug that you would like for the season. And uh, once I hit 25,000 subscribers, you know, which hopefully will be pretty soon, uh, but enough time for you guys to enter, uh, you know, I'll pick my three contestant winners and uh, send out some plugs to you. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video and never forget, live to fish, fish to live, and I'll see you guys in the next one.